我们开始上课。And last time we learned、um, the expression 会。Uh, 会 and then a verb to mean you have the ability to do something. The ability is learned、uh, over time. So, 我会说汉语，我会说汉语 and the negative is 不会说 or the、uh, complete form. 不会说汉语。Yeah, this is the sentence structure we learned last time. Now, 会 add、uh, something you have the ability to do, and you acquired this ability by learning. Ah,、uh, 会说汉语。会写汉字， or 会做中国菜。Right? We last time we learned, ah,、uh, 会做中国菜。Okay, 好，这是 the sentence structure 会 And we learned the structure, something, and then the、um, uh, adjective, predictive, ah,、uh, predict. 中国菜好吃吗？中国菜。很好吃。The structure, the subject, the adverb of degree, and then the adjective. So use this sentence to describe the state or the manner of something. 中国菜很好吃。And that some examples like um, ah,、uh, 中国。很大，中国人很多，很多 means very or that、uh, I means many a lot. So there are many Chinese people or Chinese people are so many. 中国很大，中国人很多。呃，他很好。他很好。He's very good. Yeah, that's the positive. And the negative, ah,、uh, for this sentence, 不大。So 中国不大。And then 中国人不多。中国人不多 ，not many。他不好。So in the negative form， 很 is removed。We don't use 很 in the negative form， right？ And then we learned。怎么写？那 the question 怎么写？怎么 ？And the verb to ask how to do something. 怎么写？啊，怎么写？啊，你的名字怎么写？怎么读？ 
Now, for example, you have a Chinese name, but I don't know its pronunciation. I would like to say 怎么读你的名字怎么读 Okay, and then 怎么说嗯啊，怎么说说 is to talk, to speak, or to see, to say. So, 怎么说？嗯 ，for example, apple, 汉语怎么说？这样 ，apple 汉语怎么说？呃、uh, ，my answer will be 苹果。I'll tell you how to how to say, uh, apple in Chinese. 那怎么做？怎么做 ？How to make? How to cook? Yeah, for example, um, 这个中国菜怎么做？哦，这个菜怎么做？嗯、um, ，I'm asking how to cook that food. Yeah, 怎么做 ？Right, this is what we learned last time. 好。That that's what we learned last time. Um, yeah, I send the the list of slides for you to review what we learned. Now we're gonna to do some. Practice. Oh, we're now doing practice. Good. We're now doing practice. Look at the pictures. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the picture with what we learned last time. Let's describe the Have the ability to do something. So, 我们都会。Yeah, 都 is used to emphasize all. Ah,、uh, all of us. 我们都会。会什么 ？What do the? Yeah, what do? Ah,、uh, what are they able to do? 他们会什么呢？他们会什么 ？Think. About yeah, you can use your own ex、uh, own words to answer this question. Maybe all of them can speak Chinese. All of them can、um, write Chinese characters. Yeah, you can send your answer to the chatting room. Also, you can turn on your mics and talk to the class. It is what we learned to describe this picture. Oh, 我们都会都会什么 ？Now here is something we can do. For example, we all can speak Chinese. 怎么说呢？汉语怎么说 ？We all can speak Chinese. How? Ah,、uh, 有同学说 ，Some of you said 我们都会说中国汉字。Now we, ah,、uh, now here is a problem for 汉字 Maybe we better use 读。我们都会读。中国汉字 ，so you can read the Chinese characters. You know its pronunciation. You know how to. to okay, for 说说 the verb 说，呃、uh, ，we better use the object 汉语。So、uh, different verbs work with different objects. Yeah, let's take a look. 我们都会。读读汉字，我们都会说
汉语，呀、yeah, ，我们都会说汉语。Yeah, sure, you can also say 我们都会写。写汉字，写汉字 ，that is to write, to write Chinese characters. But 读汉字 ，that is to read Chinese characters. Okay, so we have three different versions to complete this sentence. And、uh, take a look at the chatting room. You may find some of you send a different answer. Yeah,、uh, he said, "We all say a little Chinese. We all say a little Chinese. So add 一点 here. We 们都会说一点汉语 which means we can speak a little Chinese. Not so much, all right. Uh, but usually we would like add a, a er sound to it, add a er to it. So that would be read like 一点儿一点儿一点汉语，一点汉语，说一点汉语，说一点汉语。我们都会说一点汉语，我们都会说一点汉语。Yeah. And when you type、uh, on a keyboard, probably you need a pinyin、uh, in this way, e 点儿 But when we read,、uh, when we read it, when we read it, we have to read it as e 点儿一点儿 Now the two syllable will combine to. Yeah, this is、um, the form you may find in a textbook, and、uh, here, but on the keyboard, you need to type、uh, in this way. The keyboard, you need to type them separately, e 点儿 but the written form in a textbook will be e 点儿 Okay, so yeah, some of you. Also made the sentence. 我会说一点汉语 Yes, very good. 我会说一点汉语 Okay, very good. So when you choose the characters, you may pay attention to now which one is the right one. Okay. That's the first picture. And let's turn、uh, turn to the next one. Look at this picture. You may see the two people are eating food. So they are eating Chinese food. Then they say, "Chinese food is very, very what? Chinese food is very." I、use a word to describe Chinese food. 很好吃 Yes, very good. 好吃好 means good. 吃 means eat. So the combination of 好 and 吃 means、uh, pleasant to eat it. So it's tasty.、Uh, it's delicious. 中国菜很好吃 ，Yes, very good. 中国菜很好吃
中国菜很好吃。Now, let's take a look. Then look at this picture. He will do. He will do what? He will do what? Now, he will do. Yeah, he has the ability to make something or to cook something. Now here. 他会做 Chinese food. Yeah, 他会做中国菜。他会做中国菜。好，中国菜。OK， 他会做中国菜。你会做中国菜吗？你会做中国菜吗 ？Now your answer can be very simple: 会 or 不会。你会做中国菜吗？呃、uh, ，不会。嗯 ，What about others？ 会吗？会 or 不会，会 is positive， 不会 is negative， right？ Good， yeah， 我不会 or 不会做 ，both are okay。嗯， yeah， someone is trying to use 会 and 一点儿 ，we should say 会一。点儿，不是一点儿会呀，不是一点儿会，是会一点儿。你会做中国菜吗？会一点儿。Or 我会做一点儿，都可以。Or 会做一点儿。也可以。Yeah. 你会做中国菜吗？会一点儿。你会做中国菜吗？会做一点儿。Yeah, both are right. 呃、uh, ，一点儿。嗯、uh, ，some of you send the expression in incorrect characters. Take a look. 一点儿。好，再看，呃，是一点儿，呃 ，some of you chose another two characters. No, they are incorrect. Okay, compare the two. 一点儿，好，他会做中国菜，他会做一点儿中国菜也可以。好的，我们来看这个字，这个字，这个字。Yeah, this character or 这个汉字。Yeah, let's look at 这个汉字，这个汉字。This Chinese character. 我会，嗯 ，maybe you can read it, but you cannot. Write it. Yeah, how to write this sentence? I can read this character, but I cannot write it. This Chinese word, I will. Excuse me. This Chinese word, I will. I can read. I will read. Right. 我会读，那读是
Day Swan. Do. This Chinese word I will read. Do not write. Yes, do not write. This Chinese word I will not write. 写不会写，会读不会写。Great, but do you know how to read this one? This character. 你知道怎么读吗 ？Do you know how to read it? 吃乌昂。床，吃乌昂，床，呃，汉字，会读，呃 ，let me see， 呃、uh, ，the student who sent the sentence， 呃、uh, ，to the chatting room， the last one。Now pay attention to 汉字和会读 These two words, 汉字 and 会读 Now pay attention to the characters. You choose the incorrect ones. 汉字会读 Yeah, yeah. 床 Very good. 床 means bed. 床 means bed. Yeah, in which we can sleep, right? At night, we sleep in a bed. 床床啊，这个字是床 bed. 嗯，好。这个汉字我会读，床不会写。But now you can try writing it.、Oh, quite simple. Yeah, that's 床 bed. Very good. Now let's. Uh, try another practice. Uh, we have learned the structure. 我呃，我会说汉语 ，right? 我会说汉语 Now here are some other languages. Now let's see whether you can speak them. Now let's learn the expressions first. The first one, English language is called 英语 English, English, French, 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 uh, Chinese, Chinese, Japanese, Japanese, Russian, Russian. Okay, 跟我读。英语、法语、汉语、日语、俄语。Okay, now here's the first person whose name is Da Wei. Da Wei. Maybe he got an English name, David. Yeah, we change we translated into Chinese Da Wei. Now. Da Wei, yeah, he speaks English. He speaks French, but he doesn't speak Chinese, uh, nor Japanese, nor Russian. So, yeah, Da Wei can speak English and the French, but he cannot speak Chinese, Japanese, and the Russian. So we use the sentence. 大卫
会说英语和法语。大卫会说英语和法语。Now we'll use 和 which means and. 和 means and. Yeah, to link the two. Yeah, 大卫会说英语和法语 And for those he doesn't speak, 大卫不会说汉语、日语和俄语 Again, 大卫不会说汉语、日语和俄语。Okay, now let's try someone else. Hmm, this person, Li Yue, Li. Yeah, uh, she speaks Chinese, Japanese, and uh, English. She doesn't speak French and、uh, Russian. Okay, now please try. Yeah, you said expressions here to answer、mm, my question. Okay, Li Yue. 会说英语吗？李月会说英语吗 ？You can text your answer in the chatting room. Ah,、uh, someone said Li Yue 会说英语 Okay, Li Yue 会说英语 Very good. Yes, Li Yue 会说英语 Very good. The second question, Li Yue 会说法语吗？李月会说法语吗？ Yeah, here, Fa Yu Li Yue Bu Hui Shu Fa Yu. Okay, Li Yue. 不会说法语，李月不会说法语。Great， 他会说日语吗？他会说日语吗？他会说日语吗？ Okay. Yeah, Li Yue 会说日语 Yes, Li Yue 会说日语 Pay attention to the character you chose. 日语法语 Okay. Now let me ask about you. 你会说法语吗？你 Yeah, 你 You, 你会说法语吗 ？Answer the question based on your actual, uh, experience. 你会说法语吗 ？Yeah, that's my question. 你会说法语吗 ？Shu shu, pinyin shu. 
Yeah, you need pinyin to type. Fa yu, fa yu. Pay attention to the characters. How most of you said, 我不会说法语 right? Now, 你会说汉语吗？你会说汉语吗？ Some of you will say, "I can speak a little Chinese." In Chinese, 怎么说汉语？怎么说 ？Oh, somebody said, 不会说汉语 Okay, 不会说汉语 But someone said, 我会说一点儿汉语 Like, 我会说一点儿汉语我不会说汉语，不会说汉语。我会说汉语，我会说汉语。Or 我会说一点汉语。And one thing I want to remind you is, when we type Chinese characters, we don't need to press the space in between two characters. Yeah, we don't need to leave any space between the two between two characters. Okay, very good. So now here you learned the expressions like English, French, Chinese, English, Chinese. So do you find something in common? These five words. What's in common? They all have the character yu. Yes, yu. Yu, yu, yu. So this yu means language for. For example, English. That's English language. Yu, French language. Han Yu, Chinese language. Ru Yu, Japanese language. E Yu, Russian language. So Yu, uh, basically, its meaning is language. Okay, very good. So when you type Pinyin. This this one, the syllable, this one without tone, you may find it. Yu, yu, and yu. Now, based on your, uh, based on your answers in the chatting room, I found this one. Now, there's three different characters. Uh, wait a moment, and uh, this is language. This is fish. And this one, ah,、uh, in some cases, it means and. So remember, in Chinese language, even characters are pronounced in same in the same way or in some similar way. They are meaning. They are mean. As I mean, their meanings may be different. Okay, even pronunciation are similar or even the same. Ah.、Uh, If they are written in different ways, the meaning will be totally different. So, someone asking、uh, a question about Wen in the Chinese language. Zhongwen is another form for Chinese language, particularly the written form.、Uh, but Sometimes we still say, "Oh, 说中文，说汉语 That's quite similar in meaning as 汉语中文 That's fine. And another one asked the question, "How about Ethiopian language?" Um, so you can say, "埃塞俄比亚语
埃塞俄比亚 ，the name of your country, and you add y to it. If there is such a language, okay, a Pakistan language, that will be 巴基斯坦语 If it is, if it, um, how to say, really exists such a such a language. Yeah, particularly a language used all over the country. Spanish, okay, Spanish.、Uh, in Chinese, the name of the country is 西班牙 Spain. 西班牙 So Spanish is 西班牙语西班牙语西班牙语。那 ，if you need to type， 哎 ，you choose these three characters， 西班牙语。嗯，呃、uh, ，it's not， 呃、uh, ，Spanish is。I know Spanish is also used by some con some、uh, some other countries other than Spain, right? If the language is Spanish, that's 西班牙语 For example, English is also used by the、uh, United States, Australia. So that's still 英语 right? Ah,、uh, let me see. 斯瓦里语 What's that? So I don't quite get to that language. Maybe you may we may discuss it later. All right. Okay. That these are quite common. English, Chinese, Hanyu, Yeah, you may often hear these terms. Now, after language, <laughs> let's talk about 运动运动，运动。I want to change it to another color. 好 ，What is 运动？运动 is sports. Sports. 你会什么运动 ？Now, what sports do you do? So, what sports do you uh do you do? Maybe play basketball. Maybe play soccer. So, 运动运动 Now, in uh, last time and just now, we practiced 会 and a verb, right? Now here, we can use it just to use a noun, the term of sports. Yeah, after 会会 a certain sports. Let's try. Swim. 游泳游泳 So the sentence. If you know how to swim, you do this sport. You will say, 我会游泳我会游泳。Yeah, someone said no. 我不会游泳。Very good. The negative will be 不会。Yeah, 我不会。我不会游泳。Now let's try the next sport. Basketball. Okay, play basketball. Now here we turn to this one again. 打篮球，打篮球，打篮球。篮球 is basketball. 
the ball itself is called bas、uh, is called 篮球 and the sport basketball is also 篮球 so play basketball 打篮球 play basketball 打篮球 okay so 你会打篮球吗？你会打篮球吗？嗯 ，Some of you said 我不会打篮球。Some of you said 我会打篮球。哦、oh, ，Some of you said 我会一点儿，<笑>我会一点儿。Yes, that's good. 好，打篮球 is a very popular sport, right? 好 ，Now let's say What's the next one? Well,、uh, it's a very popular Chinese sports, <laughs> or oh, I can say it's very popular here in China. Ping pong, chou. Ping pong, chou. Table tennis, ping pong, chou. And the verb, I also use da. 打打乒乓球，打乒乓球。Yeah, please read after me. 打乒乓球。Yeah, table tennis. The verb still 打 yeah also 打打篮球打乒乓球 okay. 你会打乒乓球吗？你会打乒乓球吗 ？Oh, some of you said 我会打乒乓球。Some of you said, "I will play a little ping pong." Very good. Hmm. Play ping pong. So look at these two characters. They are very similar. Ping and pong. Now one is, uh, one has the stroke, uh, this side to the left. The other has the stroke goes to the right. Yeah, ping pong. It sounds like the sound. Made by the, uh, pad, uh, made by the pad beating the ball, ping pong, ping pong, and usually the player will will wave the bat, left side and right side, left side and right side. So,、mm, the two characters are very in, are very interesting. The sound. The pronunciation of the two characters are similar to the sound made by the bat and the ball, and also the two strokes. One goes left, the other goes right. Yeah, just like what do we usually do with the bat? Yeah, so it's interesting.、Mm. Someone said, "I'm very good at ping pong." Oh, very good. You use 很 correctly. Now, do you see the sentence? The last one. Someone sent to the chatting room. I'm very good at ping pong. I mean, I'm very good at playing ping pong. So, if you are very good at playing basketball, you can say, "I'm very good at playing basketball." Right? I'm very good at playing basketball. And similarly, I'm very good at swimming. That means you do it very well. Okay, you find the the similarity, right? Here, 篮球 ping pong 球 Okay, you find the similarity in the expressions, and、uh, like 篮球球乒乓球球 And here there are three more: 足球足球 soccer or football. Now, 球 and more 网球网球 
tennis 球，羽毛球 badminton badminton that still carries the character 球。Yeah, actually, for different kinds of balls, yeah, we use the word 球。球 means ball. 球 means ball. 篮球 basketball. 乒乓球 ping pong tennis. There's still a ball for the players to to hit. And 足球 the soccer ball. And 网球 the tennis ball. And the 羽毛球 badminton. Even this one is not round, but we still call it 球 Yeah. 球 is the common character you may find in these sports. All right, 篮球的球，乒乓球的球。All right, I got it. Yeah, 球 All right, now let's continue. Yeah, we've done these too. And just now, I saw someone mentioned. 我很会踢足球。我会踢足球。我很会踢足球。Yeah, I play football, and I can play football very well. 很会踢足球。Now here, do you notice that the verb changes? Here, for 篮球 the verb is 打 for 乒乓球 the verb is also 打 but here for football for soccer it's 踢踢踢 that that's to kick yeah, to kick the ball to kick the football so we use another verb 踢 and for 打 We use the hand. We use the hand to do to beat the ball, to hit the ball. We use the verb 打 Okay, with hand, play it with hand. We use 打 Play it with foot. We use 踢 Okay. Now, question: 你会踢足球吗？你会踢足球吗 yeah, ？So you answer me. 你会踢足球吗？我会踢足球。我不会踢足球。So both are okay. 嗯、mm. <laughs> ， girls said 我不会踢足球。嗯，呀，足球。It's soccer, not American football. Okay, T T T. Take a look, T. Which one? Yeah, very special. Uh, you we need to be careful when we choose the characters from the options. So I suggest you when you type pinyin, you type T. Zhu. Don't choose when you finish typing T. Don't choose, and continue to type T. Zhu and Chiu. Yeah, when we finish these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven alphabets, then you may find the correct expression has popped up. And T. Zhu Chiu, T. Zhu Chiu. Very good. 踢足球 Good. 我会踢足球 The girls said, 我不会踢足球嗯，好，足球。Now, 网球，网球，网球。That's tennis. 球 just now I mentioned that's the ball, right? You know what is 网？网 is the the net. You know 
there's a net in middle of the course of the tennis course, right? Yeah. In Chinese, that character is Wang. Now, this is called Wang. So the sport is called Wang Chou. Wang Chou. There's a Wang, a net, yeah, in the middle of the court. And there's a ball they, the players will beat. So that's called Wang Chou. Wang Chou. Yeah, do you find the character Wang, the Chinese character Wang, is quite, yeah, it looks like a net, right? It looks like, it looks like a net. Yeah, this character is quite picto, pictographic, a yeah, pictographic character, just looks like the real object. And oh, by the way, by the way, zu, zu qiu, zu, zu means foot. So this is a ball or a sport played by our foot. It's called zu qiu. And just now I mentioned the ping pong, right? And the lan, lan qiu. Lan is the basket, the basket. And those players will throw the ball into the basket in order to score. So, lan qiu. Ping pong qiu, that's the sound and the way we beat the ball. Zu qiu, because we play with zu, foot. Wang qiu, there's a net in between the course, in, in the middle of the course. So, wang qiu, good. And this one. Oh, Wang Qiu. We haven't. I, I haven't asked you the question about Wang Qiu. Now, uh, 你会打网球吗? 你会打网球吗? <laughs> 老师不会打网球. 你会打网球吗? Oh, one of you said, 我会打网球. Hmm, very good. Now, someone said, 我不会打网球. 我不会打网球. Oh, 球. Yes, very good. That's correct. Hmm, 不会打网球. Uh, what about the last one? 羽毛球. 羽毛球. Badminton, yu mao chiu. Bu hui da wang chiu. Na, ni hui da yu mao chiu ma? Oh, wo hui da yi da yu mao chiu. Very good. Ah, wo ye hui. Wo ye hui. Yeah, me too. So, here, maybe you may use ye. Yeah. So one of you mentioned 我会打一点羽毛球 So me too I can play bas uh, badminton also So I will say 我也会打羽毛球 也会 So it means also or too 也会 我也会打羽毛球 So here we have several students said 我会打羽毛球. Now the next one you should say 我也会打羽毛球. Yeah, next one. Yeah, who will be the next student to send the sentence? Hmm? Nobody. So I will send it. 我也会. So I will Type ye and the hui together. Ye hui. Da yu mao xiu. Oh, I forget something. I forget the full stop at the end of the sentence. Yeah, very good. Wo ye hui da yu mao xiu. Okay, 
羽毛球 Why badminton is called 羽毛球 <laughs> Good. So, um, students send the message to the group later than me. I should say, 我也会打羽毛球。嗯，把 someone said 我也不会打羽毛球，也不会。That's also a right sentence. Now here, let me explain what is 羽毛 Now let's observe. Uh, do I cut? Do shall I cut it a ball? It's made out of feathers. <laughs> Just wait a moment. Yeah. This one, the 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 ball or something, yeah, it is made out of feathers. Feather in Chinese is called 羽毛羽毛 So the sport is 羽毛球 Yeah, it is made. It is made of feathers. Feather in Chinese 羽毛 So the sport is called 羽毛球 All right. So you know why basketball is 篮球 Why ping pong, uh, table tennis or ping, uh, ping pong is called 乒乓球 In soccer, is called 足球 Tennis is called 网球 And badminton is called 羽毛球 Yeah, here that's the reason. Yeah, behind all these terms. Now here comes a question. Someone asked me, "How do you say I don't play soccer, but I like it?" So I don't play soccer. 我不踢足球。我不踢足球。I don't play soccer. Just like last week, we learned, 我不吃苹果，我不吃鸡蛋。Yeah, the same structure, 不 and after it the verb. So, 不踢足球，我不踢足球。Right, 我不踢足球。But I like it. Uh, but, uh, that would be 但是 Okay, yeah, that's a. Uh, something maybe we haven't learned yet. 但是我喜欢足球。喜欢。嗯、uh, ，All right here. The verb very, uh, useful. 喜欢。喜欢。Means like. 我喜欢打篮球。我喜欢打乒乓球。我喜欢踢足球。我喜欢打网球。我喜欢打羽毛球。It means you like playing basketball, playing ping pong, playing soccer, playing table tennis, playing badminton. 喜欢打篮球。喜欢打乒乓球，喜欢打羽毛球，喜欢打网球，喜欢踢足球。I like playing them, but you said I just like it, so you don't use the verb. You say 我喜欢篮球，我喜欢乒乓球，我喜欢足球，我喜欢羽网球。我喜欢羽毛球。Got it? If you like playing this football,、uh, you like playing these sports, you will use the verb and the sport. If you just like the sport, maybe you don't really play it. You just say the term of the sport. Okay.、Mm, for your question, 我不踢足球。我喜欢足球。Okay, you put it in this simple way. 我不踢足球
，我喜欢足球。Now, 喜欢 a very useful expression. Now, when you talk about your hobbies, when you talk about your interests, now you may use this expression. 喜欢 Okay. Now, tell me which one do you like? Just now we mentioned、uh, um, the ability of playing these sports. So, which one do you like? 你喜欢什么？你喜欢什么运动 ？So I put my question in this way. 你喜欢什么运动 ？What sports do you like? Okay, one of you said, 我喜欢足球。Good. Yeah, good. 我喜欢踢足球。嗯 ，It's very clear. You like playing football. 我也喜欢足球。Good. You use yeah. Hmm. I also like football. More. Yeah, football is your favorite sport or soccer.、Mm, I don't know. American. <clears throat> uh, here. Oh, you mentioned 足球 Any more? Hmm. Oh, yeah. 你也喜欢打羽毛球。好。Very good. 羽毛球 play by hand. So. 打 ，right？ 打，打，好，嗯 ，someone said 我喜欢游泳。What about athletics? Athletics is 体操。I'm not sure whether it is 体操。It seems that's 体操。You may try the pinyin 体操 Okay. Now, first of all, you should remember these、uh, expressions for different sports, and then you may talk about what you like and、uh, what、um, you usually play. Okay. Yeah, you have the ability to do the sport. 好，跟我读，跟我读，游泳，游泳，打篮球，打篮球，打乒乓球，打乒乓球。踢足球，踢足球，打网球，打网球，打羽毛球，打羽毛球。Okay. Yeah, these are some sports you may do or you may like. And we can also transfer the sentence pattern to some other activities, right? Like singing, 唱歌唱歌 dance. 跳舞，跳舞。Play guitar， 弹吉他，弹吉他。The guitar， 吉他。Uh, it's a borrowed word， 吉他。Translated based on its pronunciation， and the word maybe English word。画画，画画 ，that's to paint, to paint or to draw. We call 画画 And 骑自行车，骑
自行车 ，to ride a bicycle. To ride a bicycle is called 骑自行车。Yeah, pay attention to this verb. 骑骑 is to uh sit on the back of something. Two legs and at a side to 骑 ride a horse. Ride a horse in Chinese. 骑马骑马 We've learned 马 before, right? 骑马 That is ride a horse. So. Just you sit on the back of the horse and keep your two legs one at its two one at it one at a side of the horse. Yeah, that is 骑马 And similarly, we ride a bicycle. 骑自行车骑自行车 Yes, very good. And next activity. 开车，开车。To drive a car is called 开车，开车。好，跟我读。唱歌，唱歌。跳舞，跳舞。弹吉他，弹吉他。画画，画画。骑自行车，骑自行车。开车，开车。Okay, it's my time.、Uh, it's time for me to ask you a question. Whether you can, whether you do them.、Uh, the first question: 你会唱歌吗？你会唱歌吗 ？Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Let's do a. Yeah. Let's do a. Okay. Yeah, you are answering my question. Good. 你会唱歌吗？嗯。And the, the girls said, "Girls, ladies said, 我会唱歌。But I guess boys tend to say, 'No, 我不会唱歌。Okay. Very good. 你会开车吗？你会开车吗？开车 ，here drive a car. Yeah, drive a car. 开车。开 ，not high. 科，科爱开。嗯。不会，会是哪个会啊 ？Which 会？会，不会。Okay, someone said 我不会唱歌。Oh, someone said 我会开车。And、uh, some of you said 我不会开车。嗯、mm, ，Very good. 你会骑自行车吗？你会骑自行车吗？骑自行车 ，All right. Um,、uh, for short, you can just simply say 骑车，骑车。Yeah, people will 
No, you are talking about riding a bike. 嗯，我会骑车。我会骑自行车。Uh, both are okay. So when you say 骑车 we know you are talking about riding a bicycle. Okay, some of you said 我会骑自行车 Uh, what do you mean 我会自行 No, I mean you can omit. You can omit omit 自行 keep 骑车 I don't mean you keep 自行 as riding a bicycle. Here, 骑车 means ride a bicycle. Yes, 我会骑车。我会骑车。我会骑自行车。Yeah, both are correct. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. Good. 好。呃、uh, ，你会你会画画吗？你会画画吗？画画，画画，你会画画吗？画画。Oh, great! We have artists in our class. Okay, 我会画画。我不会画画，我会画一点儿，呀，都可以。We're good， 很好，很好。哎 ，If you are really good at painting， what do you say？ 我很会画画 ，right？ 我很会画画。嗯 ，I'm an artist。I'm really good at it. 我很会画画 Yeah, and just now, some of you, some of you already said 我会画画 and you also has this ability. What would you say? I also, and you. You can do painting, and I can do painting too. 我也会画画 Yes, we may use 也我也会画画 Uh, remember, 也会你会画画，我也会画画 Okay, good. Now. Oh, 我不很会画画。嗯、um, ，we do we do not say 我不很会画画。We may say 我不太会画画。我不太会，呀、yeah, ，不太会。I mean, um, I don't really have the ability to write or to paint. Maybe a little. So 不太会，那不很会。Alright. Now, next question. 你会跳舞吗？你会跳舞吗？你会跳舞吗？我不会跳舞。OK， 哇、wow, ，One of our ladies said， 我很会跳舞。Yes， very good。And maybe another girl would like to say, "I am very good at dancing too." So, how can we form that sentence? I am very good at dancing too. Yeah. So we're going to use "ye." We're going to use "ye." Where? Where do we put "ye"?
All right. 我也会跳舞 That's good. But I'm also very good at dancing, too. Yeah, I mean, 我也很会跳舞。我也很会跳舞。Okay. 嗯、mm, ，Someone said 我也不会跳舞。Very good. 嗯、mm, ，我也不会跳舞。Well,、wow, very good. So 会。也会，很会，很会。啊、uh, ，I'm sorry。很会，呃、uh, ，very good at it。很会。会不会也会，也不会。And 也很会。Okay. So those are different combination of 会也很 and 不 right? Oh, very good. We have many of you can dance, and some of you cannot dance. All right. Yeah, later later when you come to China, ah,、uh, shall we have a party, dancing party? Because many of you can dance. All right, let's wrap up this part. Okay, 老师，好的。嗯、mm. ，Now let's try a tongue twister. A tongue twister、uh, to practice your tongue. Uh, do you know what says? 这是什么？这是什么 ？Anybody knows it? 这是什么 ？What's this? 这是葡萄。葡萄。Grapes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 汉语怎么说？汉语怎么说？让。I have pronounced it, 葡萄 Now try, try to figure out how to type this expression, this word in Chinese, 葡萄 Try it, 葡萄葡萄 Yeah, you type the pinyin and choose these two characters, 葡萄 Now you better type. The alphabets all at a time. Do not choose. Yeah, do not choose until you see the two character popping up on the screen. Yes, very good. You got it. 葡萄，葡萄。那的拼音 is 葡萄，葡萄，葡萄，葡萄。那 the second syllable is red. Uh, it's read as a neutral tone. 葡萄，好，跟我读葡萄，葡萄，好。And another thing, um,、mm, is 葡萄皮儿啊，葡萄。And 葡萄皮儿，皮儿，皮儿。Yeah, that's the、uh, the the skin or the peel of the fruit. Yeah, 葡萄皮儿 Yeah, 吃吃 is to eat, right? We learned it. 吃葡萄吃葡萄 which means to 
eat grapes. Eat grapes. 吃葡萄。Now the verb to to means to spit. P spit. Ah,、uh, 不吐不吐 means do not spit. Ah,、uh, I'll read it. 吃葡萄不吐葡萄皮儿。吃葡萄，不吐葡萄皮儿。The meaning of this sentence is, um, you eat grapes, but don't spit out the skins. Again, 吃葡萄，不吐葡萄皮儿。Uh. Wait a moment.、Uh, turn on your mic. I'll mute your mics a little bit later. Okay. 吃葡萄不吐葡萄皮儿 Listen carefully. Ah,、uh, here is 儿儿皮儿皮儿 Okay. 吃葡萄不吐葡萄皮儿不吃葡萄，不吃葡萄。嗯 ，not eating 葡萄，倒吐葡萄皮儿。倒吐倒 here means instead. Okay， 吐葡萄皮儿。The same， 吐葡萄皮儿。啊，不吃葡萄，倒吐葡萄皮儿。Okay, I'll repeat. 不吃葡萄，倒吐葡萄皮儿。不吃葡萄，倒吐葡萄皮儿。Okay, I'll read again the two lines in the letter. You may、uh, practice more after this part of the recording. 吃葡萄。不吐葡萄皮儿，吃葡萄；不吐葡萄皮儿，不吃葡萄；倒吐葡萄皮儿，不吃葡萄；倒吐葡萄皮儿。Now you can read to yourself. Uh, you don't have to turn on your mic. Let's. Read it after me. 吃葡萄，不吐葡萄皮儿。Again, 吃葡萄，不吐葡萄皮儿。吃葡萄，不吐。葡萄皮儿，不吃葡萄，不吃葡萄，倒吐葡萄皮儿，倒吐葡萄皮儿。Okay. After class, I hope you will practice a lot, and until、uh, until you can read it very fast, like 吃葡萄不吐葡萄皮儿，不吃葡萄倒吐葡萄皮儿。Anyone would like to try now?、Uh, you may turn on your mic and read to the class. 吃葡萄不吐葡萄皮儿，不吃葡萄倒吐葡萄皮儿。Sure, you can do it slowly. Anyone would like to try? The next line is "eat grapes." Eat grapes. 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 Eat grap
Rachel Flex Final， 葡萄皮儿，皮儿，皮儿，葡萄皮儿。吃葡萄不吐葡萄皮儿，不吃葡萄倒吐葡萄皮儿。Okay, so after class, I hope you will practice more. Well, do you want to do it now in the class? Or come to the class next time to compete. Who can speak it correctly and fast? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll give you one a、uh, one week to practice. All right, now let's do a simple exercise. Now we'll do a exercise. Here, look at the pictures and decide whether the given words are right or wrong. Uh, you can、mm. now when you type when you type 葡萄皮儿 the 拼音 should be uh I mean 皮儿 the 拼音 you type on the keyboard should be p and the r、uh, I sent to the chatting I sent it to the chatting room. Here, but when you type, you should separate them. And choose carefully.、Right. After class, you may practice. Now, look at the exercise on the screen. Do they match? Yeah, pure right. Now, if you find it is correct, it is right. You text doi. And you find not match, 不对 Okay, yeah, let's do it. Uh, thirteen, 十三十三 You're trying pure. Okay, uh, 十三 The word is 对不起对不起嗯对不起呃。Uh, Is the picture shows 对不起，对 or 不对？不对，不对。Very good， 不对。再见。不，嗯，再见。Oh yeah, he yeah he, she said 的再见。She waves 再见。那我把十四，十四，他对不对？对，对，这个他是对。嗯、呃，那这个他呢？对不对？不对。这个他不对，这是 f e m a l e right？ Yeah, yeah. 这是 female。Next one， 十五，美国，对不对？不对，不对。American flag？ 不对。这个不对，不是美国，不是美国。好，十六，同学，对不对？同学，同学，不对。他们家人、啊、不对，不对，嗯，他们是一家人，家人对 ，Yeah， 呃、uh, ，the last one 十七，他们对不对？不对，不对 ，Why? Why? Because Why? <laughs> because of the tar, the tar is male, and they are yeah, this tar is male tar, yeah, because there are three girls, yeah, there are three girls, so we should use this tar, right? 他们，对对。Though the pronunciation are the same, but the two characters are different. So, 他们 this one, 他们 is 不对 this one, 对 Got it? They're girls, so we use female 他们 Okay. 好，那就 for today's class. 嗯，好，我们下课。Uh, now what do we say now? 现在说再见，再见，拜拜，再见，嗯，再见，再见。See you next week.